Welcome to Fort Belvedere. Today's video is all about peccary glove leather and we explain to you the difference between our regular peccary gloves and our hydro peccary along with the details and everything else you want to know about this true piece of artisanal craftsmanship. First of all, what is peccary? It is a skin derived from a wild animal that some say is part of the pig family. It's actually very similar to a javelina or a capybara. And the highest quality skins come from Peru. Because peccary leather is derived from a wild animal, it is subject to the CITES or CETES convention and because of that, you can rest assured that everything is harvested sustainably. Unlike regular kid skin or lamb napa leather, peccary leather has three little prongs that are very characteristic and you won't find them in any other leather. Some people can confuse it with hog skin or pig skin, but peccary is a lot more expensive and it's also much softer and at the same time extremely durable. Because of that, it's considered to be the very best glove leather that you can find on the market today. Because Fort Belvedere peccary gloves can last you for decades, we wanted to make sure to add a certain amount of stain resistance without sacrificing on the patina development. Apart from the soft, supple feel, peccary develops a nice patina over time and the leather gets softer and it looks better. In general, this is a hallmark of quality goods because as you wear them, they get better and more beautiful versus cheaper items who just deteriorate and look worse with every time you wear them. In the past, we acquired quality peccary rawhides in Peru and had them tanned and dyed there to keep the logistics chain simple and make sure that we get a quality product. We're never just happy with the status quo, but we always try to get better. And because of that, we found a small family company that has over 100 years of experience in leather tanning in Germany. And now we have all of our peccary skins dyed and tanned there. It's more expensive, but we believe that the color consistency and the softness are even increased. So the quality of pack reeler we have today is even better than what we had before. In fact, you will not find a better pack reeler in the world today than the one offered from Fort Belvedere. Now, pack reeler is not just the best glove leather you can buy, but also the most expensive one. At the same time, we didn't just want to have the same high quality leather everyone else has, and so we tried to come up with an innovative concept to make the leather even better. During that process, we came up with the hydro peccary. So, what is it? Basically, it is a peccary leather skin of the highest grade from Peru, tanned in Germany. However, we're the first company in the world to add an agent to the leather that makes it water resistant. Basically, we wanted a leather that was more functional in everyday life without sacrificing the marshmallow soft suppleness as well as characteristic of the natural peccary leather. So Fort Belvedere Hydro Peccary Leather is the softest glove leather you can find in the world today. At the same time, it is also water resistant and stain resistant. If you put water on a untreated piece of leather, it absorbs it and leaves water stains. In that case, you'd have to wet the entire glove and let it dry in order to prevent any stains. On the other hand, with the Hydro Peccary Leather, you can pour water over it and the leather doesn't absorb it and it pearls right off. So no matter if you have a runny nose or if you have to scratch the ice from your car or if you walk through the rain, your peccary gloves won't get water stains and they'll keep you warm and dry. So are Fort Belvedere Hydro Peccary gloves waterproof? Well, no, they're not. They're not quite like a rubber glove because they have seams that are made by hand. Because of that, water can penetrate that, but in general, for everyday activities, it's totally fine and we like to call it water resistant. If you want waterproof gloves, you probably have to upgrade to ski gloves. However, these are men's dress gloves designed for cities and everyday wear, not for Antarctic exhibitions. So apart from the Hydro Peccary leather that is really the first and only of its kind in the world today, what else makes our gloves so special? One is that they're hand cut by master cutters in Hungary with over 30 years of glove cutting experience. The art of cutting is a dying trade and you'll probably find less than 100 people in the world who really know that craft. Now, it may sound easy to just cut a glove shape from a piece of leather. However, because peccary is a wild animal, it has lots of scars and holes and a skilled cutter has to cut around them to get the maximum yield for every skin. At the same time, all glove letters have to be very stretchy and while peccary is very stretchy, the stretch 
isn't always the same in every direction. Those are also things the cutter has to consider when he cuts the glove, so we guarantee a perfect fit when you wear the glove. In the past, we'd cut our peccary gloves with an outside seam on the index finger. Now, we have reduced that seam, which means your glove is made from one piece of leather reaching from here all the way over here. That means you can only use the very highest quality skins because lower quality skins will have more imperfections. Once the Fort Belvedere Hydro Peccary gloves are cut, they are then hand sewn in Hungary by very skilled sewers who have specialized in glove making for over a century. It takes several hours to finally hand stitch a pair of Fort Belvedere Hydro Peccary gloves, but our artisans take great pride in it. And if you really want to see what steps go into the making of our gloves, please check out this video here. The fourth hallmark of a Fort Belvedere Hydro Peccary glove are the hand stitched points, which are the three lines you see on the back of the hand or the back of the glove. The points don't serve a functional purpose and they're merely decorative. Because of that, we wanted to keep it in line with the hand stitching. While most gloves rely on machine sewing, we went all out and added decorative hand stitching that's very nice and complements the look of the glove. The fifth thing that makes our gloves special are the quirks. By that, I mean the little triangles in between your fingers that add extra room of movement for your hand without feeling constricted at any point in time. It may seem like a little detail, but it actually requires quite a bit of skill to add those in, and it also adds time to the production process. At Fort Belvedere, we make them in our signature green color, so you can always recognize a glove even if you don't take it off. The sixth hallmark of our gloves is the lining. In the past, we used alpaca linings for our peccary gloves because alpaca is actually warmer than cashmere. At the same time, it is not as soft. Because peccary leather itself is very soft, we wanted to make sure to get the softest lining we can that is likewise warm, and so we chose Italian finished cashmere. For the color, we decided to go with an oatmeal brown simply because it doesn't show dirt very easily, and so they always look clean and never dirty. The seventh thing that makes Fort Belvedere gloves different is the contrasting elements at the piping, at the buttons, and the quirks, and the thread. We use the dark Fort Belvedere signature green color, and it adds a visual contrast, which is quite interesting, handsome, and at the same time recognizable. Last but not least, Fort Belvedere gloves feature a button closure, which has a distinct old world 1920s and 30s style. And the idea is to create something that helps you keep your hands warm and at the same time look elegant. Again, it's a little detail that takes more time and is more expensive to produce, but we believe it's worth it and it's something you will not find in other gloves. If you want to learn even more about gloves, please check out our in-depth glove guide along with all the videos we made about men's dress gloves. In today's video, I'm wearing a vintage Chesterberry overcoat. It's a paletot style, double-breasted, six buttons, buttoned on two. It has a black velvet collar. I'm combining it with a scarf by Fort Belvedere, which is a silk wool blend, and you can find it in our store here. The gloves are contrasting in a chamois yellow hydro peccary from Fort Belvedere. During the colder season of the year, you always wear an overcoat, and so I never wear boutonnieres on my suit jacket because they would be squished. However, if my overcoat has a buttonhole, I take the opportunity and wear it with a boutonniere. It just looks very debonair. Below my overcoat, I'm wearing a light blue Oxford cloth button-down shirt with a Bourette silk houndstooth tie from Fort Belvedere, which again, you can find in our shop. The sweater I'm wearing is a classic tennis sweater. My pants are black corduroys and they go well with the black velvet collar, as well as with the black boots, which are Balmoral boots with a black suede insert. To tie it all together, I added a pair of gray boot laces from Fort Belvedere that go well with the black shoes and pants, as well as with the overcoat. 